Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another review. This time for Takara Tomi's Transformers Masterpiece MP11NR Destron New Jetron Warrior Ramjet. Alright, so this is a uh, Takara Tomi uh, online more exclusive. So as you can see the box is huge, okay? So it's so huge I have no space on my screen, okay, to put it in. But this is like the front and the back of the uh, box. And it comes with a very nice bio card. Okay, so this is a bio card of a uh, Ramjet. Over here it says um, Stamina 8, Intelligence 5, yep, yeah, not very clever. Speed 9, Endurance 9, Rank 5, Courage 8, Firepower 7, Skill 6. Alright, so without further ado, here is Ramjet. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust the camera closer right now okay you have a good view so this is ramjet okay so a uh, very nice white uh, piece of transformer so this is like a remo of the seeker so the noteworthy remotes are the head okay the kneecaps over here uh, the wings so these are the main uh, remo that is done to the mp11 so prior to the review I actually uh, example the uh, two missiles at the at the back over here okay so yeah, so this is Ramjet. So uh, in terms of let's say joints wise, okay, it's cool. Uh, you have a uh, ratchet joints. You can move ninety degrees over here. He has a double jointed elbow. Okay, uh, slight uh, waist rotation, very very slight. His head can uh, move, uh, not three sixty. Okay, it's being blocked. Okay, by the back. So one thing about the head, uh, which I I I. I think it's a little bit aesthetically not so nice that you can see the back of the uh, cockpit over here. So if you look at the back over here, this cockpit piece. So it would, it would be not much nicer if you can align it such that you know you can't see the cockpit piece at all. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, due to the way that the toy is made and for alignment purpose, you you can't hide that completely. And yeah, so this is how it will look like. But still, uh, very it's still a very nice piece. Um, in terms of the lower leg locate, uh, ro uh, articulation wise you can actually move it up this much okay you can rotate the thighs okay you can move it up this much okay and then you have uh, double jointed knees okay okay you can actually move the knees uh, two ways notch but uh, you probably wouldn't use it so this is one notch you can actually use it, and then the other way you can move it downwards as well. Let me just try to do it on the other leg. It's simpler to do it. Uh, yeah, so over here I can actually move the knees slightly more. Over here, can you see over here? Okay, I'm just moving it one more notch downwards. Alright. So, okay. Here's so much for articulation. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make sure I align the knees nicely before I do the transformation. Okay, so over here very nice. So one thing I don't really like uh, about this is that uh, the back, okay, this part still feels a little flimsy as you all can see. So typical of the MP11 mode. Apart from that, it's nice. I mean design wise and everything. So before we go on to the transformation, okay, just a few things to highlight. So when removing this bar, this uh, giant missile port thingy, just make sure you hold on to the red piece, okay? Just hold on to the red piece and just slowly wriggle it out. Okay, don't just wriggle it out directly this way because this piece, okay, I think it feels a little fragile. So just to make sure that you don't end up breaking something or, or stressing the plastic, just hold on to the red piece. Just wriggle, 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 and then you can get the thrusters out. <coughs> All right, done. Put it on one side. So in transformation wise, first thing what you're gonna do, you're gonna open a copy over here. Rotate this, uh, shift this down, shift this up, rotate 180 degrees, okay, and you close the cockpit, okay, and you're done over here, okay. So, uh, next thing what you want to do, you want to lift the back over here, okay, lift it up, and then you move the cone upwards as well, okay, and then what you're going to do is pull, extend this, extend the body, make sure you extend it all the way, okay. So extend it all the way to the to the end. Let me just check and make sure I got the extended all the way. Okay. Yep. So extend it all the way to the end. So next one I'll do, you're gonna shift this um, cockpit piece upwards a little bit. Okay. So it's got a little bit jammed over here. Let me just try to unjam it. Okay. So yeah, you get a little bit of a uh, tussle over here. 
So once over here, rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, once you're done, just um, slot the cone piece underneath. Get it over here. Lock it in place. Lock it in place and you're done for the top. So next thing you want to do, you want to move the shoulder upwards. Okay, so we move the shoulder upwards so they align over here. And then you rotate the arm 90 degrees downwards. Rotate the arm 90 degrees downwards. Next thing what you want to do is to shift this chest piece inwards. All right, so shift this chest piece inwards. Okay, so basically the instruction says that you can actually tap these two together, but I, I tried it and I can't really tap it and I'm not going to force it. So uh, it's going to stay this way, it's not going to be fully tapped in, although the instruction says that you can actually tap in completely, but I think it's going to be too tight. So I tried very hard to actually push this in, but I can't push it in, so I'm not going to force it. And anyway, it doesn't affect the transformation. So uh, just, just leave it uh, the way it is. Okay, so next thing what you want to do over right now, you want to um, rotate the arm 90 degrees back. Okay, rotate the arm 90 degrees back. So once you collapse uh, the first, you can just have to uh, move it 90 degrees upwards. Okay, fold it in. So next thing I'm going to fold this entire portion in. All right, it, it will fold in very, very nicely. Okay, similarly for the other side, just fold it in. See, so like I said, you don't really need to have this closing completely. It fits in very nicely, so it doesn't affect the transformation at all. And like I said, I would prefer you not to uh, force it in, okay, in case you might end up breaking something. Uh, over here, next thing you want to do is to look at this part. So this part, let's be very, very careful because this uh, plastic, it feels quite, quite, quite flimsy. Okay, quite flimsy over here. So in order for you not to stress or strain the plastic too much, I would suggest using your fingers, okay, hold as much as this piece of plastic as possible and hold the joint as close as possible and tap it down, okay? Tap it down slowly, okay? Okay, good. So once you tap it down slowly, go to the back, you see? This, uh, there's this hole over here, you can pack over here, and this hole you can pack over here. So let's go with uh, this hole first, okay? Just pack it in. Okay. Okay, and I pack it in the top as well, okay? Done nicely. So let's go to the other side. So like I said, hold it, hold as much as the plastic as, uh, as you can as possible, okay? And then slowly just pull it down, yes, okay? So it costs, uh, you, so you won't strain the plastic too much. And once you, uh, you have it down, so here, just tap this in. And at the top, just tap this in. Okay, so a little bit of minor alignments. Okay, it's very nicely aligned. So once you align it very nicely, it's done. So what else you need to do over here, just to align the this part over here. Okay, push it down. And you're done with the top part of the jet. Okay, so next thing what you want to do, okay, you want to uh, lift this, okay, just push this. Lift, uh, just pull it forward towards you. Rotate this on uh, 180, flip it down. Rotate 180, flip it down. Over here, uh, lift this portion up. Lift this portion up. Okay, flip this in, flip this in. Close it, close it. Okay, next thing what you want to do, okay, I actually did it over here first. You want to pull down this portion, okay? Pull it down. Okay, similarly for the other side, just pull it down. And then uh, likewise, so when transforming this part, just hold on to as close as possible. Okay, then you just uh, tap it, over. just uh, flip it over, over here, just over here. Hold it as close as possible so that you won't uh, strain it too much. And you flip this out. Flip it up. You don't have to flip it out all the way, so you just flip it out at this angle, rotate 180 degrees, press it down, and then we have the thrusters. Then you just push it back in. So over this side, okay, for my piece, okay, uh, you might have some problems digging out, but uh, now it's okay. I had some problems digging out earlier on. So same thing over here, all right, and hold it as close as possible to the plastic, flip it down. Okay, so uh, in order to make sure that the, the legs actually tap, uh, slot in nicely, you gotta make sure it's totally aligned uh, for the legs over here. So yes, let me take a closer look over here. So make sure that when you are transforming or you're playing the piece, right, you just have to make sure that 
okay this white piece has to be all the way in uh, and touching the end of this uh, black piece so you can actually slot in so make sure you got it in so once you got it in, you just slot it in align it nicely okay slot it in then you align the wings portion okay so similarly for the other side just align nicely just push it in okay okay I just have aligned it nicely push it in here okay so once you uh, push it in all the way okay okay got it push it in let's tap these two pieces together we tap the wings okay let me see if I can align them nicer okay so it's a lot of alignment so it's like uh, you got to make sure you align this portion nicely so once this portion is aligned nicely the rest of the wings will align nicely as well okay so this way okay so the wings don't really tap really tightly at this point in time but once you get the uh, thrusters done you will tap in really really nicely okay so you can see there's still a little bit of a gap here but that will be fixed in a while so over here let's go over here you flip this upwards okay flip out the wings rotate this 180 degrees this down over here same thing rotate this hold it close over here Turn this down okay I'm gonna put this plane down for the time being so for this you gotta make sure that when you slot in the alignment is really really important so because of the way that the uh, joint uh, the part is made you have to make sure it aligns nicely. so you can't just anyhow and then just slot in it doesn't fit in you have to align it nicely okay so that it will fit in let me see I do some alignment okay this is the correct one so the way to do it okay this tab will go down so make sure when you slot the wings okay just pull it out okay so at the same time parallel find alignment and uh, slot in okay nice so once you're done over this side okay this will peg in to this part okay so peg it in okay I'm gonna do it a little bit off camera maybe okay peg it in nicely okay so once this is packing nicely right you see the wings align much nicer so there's hardly any gap right now over here because of this uh, giant uh, missile that helps to pack it in and align it nicely so let me do it for the other side as well so similarly you got to pull it out make sure you keep the alignment there and you slot it in over here and you slot it in over here okay alignment got it nicely great so flip it in, this part taps in over here okay, let me just get alignment nicely done, push it in okay okay, I need to make sure I sort out the alignment properly first okay, for the wings at the back okay, and there we have it Ramjet in jet mode Right, it's really really cool. I love this ramjet in the jet mode. So cool and so nice. So there's also landing gears uh, that you can actually flip out over here. Flip out over here. And flip it over here. Get the landing gear down. Okay, close it. And there you have ramjet over here. Let's flip it down. Jet mode. So uh, in, in, in jet mode, okay, he actually rolls uh, pretty nicely on the surface. He rolls really, really pretty nicely on the surface. So much smoother than hot rod. Yeah, MP hot rod, quite a disappointment in the vehicle mode, but uh, ramjet, it's nice. So apart from the uh, feature, okay, it has the same feature as the uh, MP11 modes. You can actually pull out the nose cone and show the uh, inner part. You can actually have a uh, Dr. Ark view sit here, but I'm, I'm not showing this in the review. You can actually have this um, thrusters shift downwards. You can actually flip this part upwards, and then yeah, this will go here. And uh, also you can flip up this this part, okay, just to show the inner engines, uh, which is basically are the feet. And yeah, and the thrusters can uh, move quite freely. So that's about it. Uh, all in all, I like the jet mode. It's so, 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 so nice. It's so different 
uh, from the OMP jet. Uh, I'm so glad the uh, Takara is making this. I'm very sure Dirge and uh, who is the other guy? Dirge and Thrust would follow definitely for sure, and uh, I think most likely are gonna be another Takara Tommy more exclusive. So that's um, that's gonna be a little bit tougher to get, uh, but uh, yeah, I think it's really worth getting. So this is very very nice. I like the colors and everything, and I like the G1 rendition of this. So it's really cool. You know, I know third party. I'm not sure which third party uh, did Ramjet before, but uh, I'm not a supporter of third party items, so I didn't buy that. So I can't do any comparison on that. But I think Takara Tomi's done a great job on this. Uh, just that I know, I think uh, the MP11 mode being the MP11 mode itself, we just have to be really careful when we handle certain joints. Like for example over here, just to make sure that we don't stress the uh, joints. So I'm not sure whether they improve on the plastic quality or whatever, but I'm not going to risk it. Alright, so in order to transform Ramjet uh, back to its robot mode, the first thing you want to do is to remove this. Alright, and uh, just to let you guys know, uh, you can't fit in completely. So, you know, in, in case some of you want to display here this missile, like uh, the G1 mode, you can't fit you can't fit it in completely this way, alright? So you have to... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Disassemble it. Okay, pull it out. Okay, gotta find the alignment. Yeah, so this got that tough to find alignment. Okay, find alignment. So I'll pull it in. Okay, you gotta get it back this way. So I'm gonna pull this out as well. Be careful when you pull it out. Okay, just disassemble this. Okay, align this. Rotate this 360. Press it in. Okay, so next thing what you wanna do, you wanna split the legs. Okay, once you split the legs, you can pull them apart. Okay, just slot down very nicely. Flip this, okay, push this outwards, push this outwards. So, there's a problem with this portion. So, sometimes when you push this outwards, it might not pop out. So, you might need to uh, do this a couple of times and this part will pop out together. Alright, <coughs> so you flip this, flip this. Flip this up, flip this up. So in order to get the fit out, instead of digging, dig it, just move the thrusters, all right? And then it comes out easily, all right? So instead of just trying your best to dig it out, just move the thrusters downwards and you'll flip up. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, next thing what you wanna do, I'll flip this downwards. Okay, flip this up. Rotate three, uh, 180 degrees, flip it down, close it, okay. Put this downwards, rotate. Okay, and then be careful when you hold it. Yes. Okay, got this down. So I'm just gonna keep this down for the time being. Uh, next thing what I gotta do, you gotta unpack this. Okay, you gotta unpack this uh, from the red portion of the wings. Unpack this. So as you unpack it, just hold it as close as possible, making sure you're holding these two parts, and then just. Okay, rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, just hold it as close as possible. Okay and you're done okay so once that, after that you just flip out the arms okay press the first down rotate uh, 90 degrees rotate okay 90 degrees over here okay move the arms upwards move the arms upwards okay i'm gonna shift the camera back a little bit okay so once this is done you flip this empire oops sorry not yet you have to uh, Move the chest pieces down first over here. Okay, just uh, rotate the uh, chest pieces down. Okay, over here. Rotate it down over here. Okay. Okay, rotate it down completely. So once you've done that, you flip the shoulder pieces down. Okay, unpack this. Unpack this. Okay, you push the back outwards. Okay, put this. This goes underneath. This moves here. Rotate 180 degrees. So once you uh, align them nicely, just collapse the chest all the way down. Just press it down. Okay, and just do this carefully. Okay, let's align some pieces nicely first. Okay. Okay, once this is done, press it down. 
Okay, I'm just having a little bit of a problem over here, so but I think it's more an like alignment issue. So once you align it nicely, it should go down nicely. Yep, got it down nicely. Okay. So here, flip this out. Okay, rotate the head. Okay, the neck, push it to the back. Here, let me just leave the camera up a little bit. Over the back, you will make sure the cone settles nicely over here down here, over here, and then over here, push this wing portion upwards, push this upwards, okay, and you're done uh, ramjet in robot mode, okay, cool, so uh, you can actually leave it the way it is this way, or you can actually put in the uh, two uh, cannon thrusters as well, so let's put instructions, what you need to do is just to uh, pack this in. I'll just be very careful when packing this in. Okay, just so to make sure that I don't stress the, the joint over here. Okay, and here we have uh, Ramjet. Fully transformed back into robot mode. Alright, cool. So, very nice uh, masterpiece. Okay, I, I personally like it. Um, transformation wise it's not difficult okay I mean we don't, you do it once or twice and you you get a hang of it and it's pretty fun I think it's pretty intuitive and, and this figure totally love it uh, great to have the cone heads okay this is the first of the cone heads and like I said I'm really really sure that the next cone two cone heads dirge and thrust will be happening uh, if not this year, maybe by next year. Uh, I'm sure the other two will be coming to uh, us very soon. So let's just be patient, uh, not go for any third party and go for the official pieces for this one. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time. The kneecaps over here, uh, the wings. So these are the main uh, remote that is done to the MP11. So prior to the review, I actually uh, assembled the uh, two missiles at the at the back over here. Okay. So yeah, so this is Ramjet. So uh, in terms of let's say joints wise, okay, it's cool. Uh, you have a uh, ratchet joints. You can move ninety degrees over here. He has a double jointed elbow. Okay. Uh, slight uh, waist rotation, very very slight. His head can uh, move, uh, not 360, okay, it's being blocked, okay, by the back. So one thing about the head, uh, which I, 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 I think it's a little bit aesthetically not so nice that you can see the back of the uh, cockpit over here. So if you look at the back over here, this cockpit piece, so it would be not much nicer if you can align it such that, you know, you can't see the cockpit piece at all. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, due to the way that the toy is made and for alignment purpose, you, you can't hide that completely. And yeah, so this is how it will look like. Um, stamina 8, Intelligence 5, yep, not very clever. Speed 9, Endurance 9, Rank 5, Courage 8, Firepower 7, Skill 6. Alright, so without further ado, here is Ramjet. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust the camera closer right now. Okay, you have a good view. So this is Ramjet, okay. So uh, very nice white. Uh, piece of transformer. So this is like a remote of the seeker. So the noteworthy remotes are the head. Okay, the, but still, uh, very it's still a very nice piece. Um, in terms of the lower leg locate uh, uh, articulation wise, you can actually move it up this much. Okay, you can rotate the thighs. Okay, you can move it up this much. Okay, and then you have. Uh, double jointed knees okay okay you can actually move the knees uh, two ways notch but uh, you probably wouldn't use it so this is one notch you can actually use it, and then the other way you can move. hello everybody this is Charles and I'm back with another review this time for Takara Tomi's Transformers Masterpiece MP11NR Destron New Jetron Warrior Ramjet alright so this is a uh, Takara Tomi uh, online more exclusive so as you can see the box is huge, okay, so it's so huge I have no space on my screen, okay, to put it in, but this is like the front and the back of the uh, box, and it comes with a very nice bio card, okay, so this is a bio card of uh, Ramjet, over here it says uh, 